Guten Tag everyone, today we have a repair graphic card. This graphic card came to us from Germany. This is a GeForce GTX 980 Ti. Thank you very much for sending that long. Um, from what I remember, uh, this graphic card all of a sudden just stopped working and after that it didn't want to give any attempts for turning on. Let's uh, just browse it a little bit. Uh, about specifications, I, actually it doesn't say a lot, but as far as I remember, uh, GPU uh, um, uh, clock uh, is 1100 MHz, or in the boost it goes up to 12 or something MHz, or, and uh, you can overclock it till 13, even 14. 100 megahertz and that actually what it says in the box so it comes with the fancy app where you can do it in a couple of clicks MSI gaming app also what I can say from myself about GPU is our architecture of a chip is based on a Maxwell mm, uh, it has a 200 series and uh, the same exact GPU is using not only on 980 Ti's but also it comes on a Titan Axis uh, that's just uh, good to know. Uh, also, distinctive feature of uh, this graphic card, of this graphic card, is, uh, uh, and that's why it comes in this fancy box and it says Golden Edition. Uh, I've had other uh, 980 Ti's and uh, cooling system. Yes, tubes were made from a copper, but ribs itself were from uh, aluminium. But this one, everything, the whole cooling system is based. It is made from a best uh, thermal conductive material which is a copper. Um, actually for those who is interested the best thermal conductive material uh, on um, is a diamond uh, but if you're talking about metals is a silver uh, then it's a copper and uh, after copper is a gold and then it's aluminium but if we are taking away all precious materials it comes down to a copper and aluminium so and that's uh, what it, this uh, graphic card is made from. Okay, let's uh, open it up and uh, have a look. Also, uh, the main competitor for a 980 Ti is uh, uh, 1070 graphic card. And uh, between those two graphic cards, I would rather prefer 980 Ti, even though you'll just pay a little bit on top more. Uh, because they're pretty much they give same result, uh, but 980 Ti spends way less resources. Okay, so let's see. I love this graphic card. I've had a couple times how I already said. Mm, gorgeous, beautiful, and uh, it, it even has a, a little bit different. Uh, colors, how we can see it comes in the orange and black it's a little bit dusty but how you know, we can see everything is made from a copper and let's test it out Plug in our 12 pin connector, screen will already plugged in, and postcard. Just to see how our card acts up. Okay, let's see what it does. Let's shut it off. Because uh, by that, uh, how it acts right now, we can come in, uh, to conclusion that we have a short somewhere on the board. And most likely on our uh, on our one of our main powers, which are 12.5 of 3.3 volts. So um, yeah, let's just confirm our problem. Yeah, same exact thing. I open up our graphic card, and that's something I was actually afraid of. Yes, we have a short on our 12 volt line, but not just regular short. We have as well a burn in this area. Um, Let's just zoom it up, have a closer look. Um, we will uh, proceed our repair and we will try to save our face because everything what it looks like is just a cap uh, when it's short and just blast it out uh, 
but it all depends how badly damaged our actual motherboard. Um, yeah, let's proceed repair. First of all, uh, I'd like to say that this burn isn't that bad and uh, from a scale from 1 till 10 I would give it 5. This is not a burn through, uh, burnout, and I don't really see any uh, damage or traces, it could be worse. But anyway, yeah, it isn't that bad and the problem is still present. But uh, before we... Uh, uh, proceed our repair and uh, see what has been done on this uh, graphic card. Let's see how our power is built. Also, I did uh, do a little sketch uh, for myself, easy understanding how everything works out. Um, so our power for to a GPU is uh, eight phased. Um, those uh, first four phases, they're taking the power from uh, this 12 volt line and uh, other uh, four phases and that's where we are having a problem right now taking the power from uh, next to a 12 volt line. Uh, uh, phases from the top, those two, that's a power to our memory and that's not where we are concerned right now. Uh, the power on this uh, graphic card is built on a controller 8174 which is located over here. This is a pretty... Uh, this is not the very controller. This controller uses on other 900 series uh, graphic cards and uh, this is four phase controller but how already been said we have a uh, eight phase uh, power to our GPU so uh, before our controller interacts to our drivers which in uh, the case uh, controlling our keys to our uh, phases uh, it goes to our doublers which are located over here and uh, what in the turn those doublers do uh, is uh, basically that's our signal from a controller and uh, this uh, signal um, divides it in general and divides it also what's important by frequency. So uh, our doubler already has uh, two um, controller signals which goes to our driver in which case uh, have already been said and interacts with our phases. So after knowing how our um, Pinouts uh, going on on this uh, graphic card. I started ringing up, and uh, where I've been found a problem is uh, that's where we originally have a problem. Um, that's a power of our 12 volt line, uh, and uh, uh, and this problem unfortunately is still present after removing our our burn out. Everything is clean so far, how I could see, but unfortunately it's still present. Also uh, after ringing up uh, we found uh, that we have uh, also a short on uh, a line between our driver and uh, get high. I, I, neither Neither a key assembly, neither driver, we don't have it, uh, neither a driver, neither a key assembly, we don't have it on us. Therefore, we came to conclusion that we will try to proceed our repair and uh, fixing this graphic card without two phases um, for now. Uh, therefore, I remove already a key and I remove the driver and a doubler. Uh, 
so let's uh, that's a short story of what's going on right now and uh, uh, let's uh, proceed our repair But I already went over three lanes and we still have a short on our 12 wall line and uh, the reason why I took calls out so uh, just to be safe then our 12 volt they don't go to a chip and just don't kill it. Um, okay let's try it. I'll try a couple more times. Let's see where do we have a short this time. same spot okay and if we look on the microscope we see that we have a short between a third and a fourth lay is a one two three four at least we know in what direction do we have to go What we are dealing right now, we were tracking a short which was going beneath and what it looks like and actually this is a good news, so we tracked it. So right now it's, not, it's nothing burning over here in the beneath corner, so I hope we already found our short, but it started blasting on the top. Um, everything what it's leading, I just don't want to lose, we already lost two phases and I don't want to lose the third phase and um, man, yeah, let's see how right am I right now because we still have a short but how I said, we had actually oh yeah, yeah, let's, let's talk and then let's just double check yep now it's going on the top. Okay, let's keep drilling then. Oh, finally our short has disappeared and right now we are having let's just okay, we're here. and on our multimeter on a 12 volt line we have a kilo ohms what couldn't make us happy uh, so finally our short has disappeared and now let's make conclusion what we are having right now so we will put everything back and the only thing is we lost two phases for sure we lost this phase for sure and we lost this phase now, other phase I um, tried to save it and it looks like it's safe uh, it's workable but the only thing is this uh, driver 
uh, controls those two phases and uh, this driver controls those two phases uh, and I don't have another driver so even if I put everything back to this phase it's still not gonna be workable because I don't have this driver uh, so uh, for now we will put everything like all, all coils back and also it has the broken trace uh, which I'll show you later uh, but that's not a big deal because we, we could see where it, it goes so uh, let's put everything back what we can I already put everything back behind the camera because video is already pretty long so I put the coils let's just see on the microscope and um, yeah this is uh, um, and we can see on the other hand there is uh, two traces going on and one of them got damaged or what I said but I already got reconnected uh, other one is in excellent condition mm, uh, so here is not a big deal about uh, transistor pad um, one pin, pin has got damaged but this is not a big deal because uh, it shares their information this is our um, place for a 12 volt line and it uh, shares with the uh, next to it two pins so if we put a transistor it's gonna be up and running uh, but how I said I don't have this driver so there is no point of putting the transistor back um, but uh, let's uh, uh, try turn it on we can always put a phase back once we have available driver uh, the main point, let's see if it turns on. Finally, everything is all set. Okay, our graphic card, our postcard, our screen. Now, let's plug our powers. Let me just see if everything got connected right. Looks like it. Okay. Car got connected. Bypass to a 318. Yes, so we have a picture. Wonderful. We have a picture. Driver for this graphic card being installed there without any issues, sir. But I feel a little bit sketchy running a stress test or playing any other games, sir, without three phases. Without two phases, as many times as you want, uh, but uh, yeah, just feel a little bit eh. Uh, doing anything with this graphic card without three phases um, without two phases I would recommend if we uh, eventually fix one phase I would just recommend do not overclock this graphic card uh, but uh, so far let's leave it as it is mm. so this video is more likely for repair procedure if you have same exact problem hopefully you are getting more lucky than I did uh, thank you for watching, please put likes, dislikes, and if you have any questions, put your, com put your comments below, um, and of course subscribe. Uh, auf Wiedersehen.